Hi guys, how's it going? It's Mark here. I thought I'd run you through this uh, user guide here. I put all the information for the user guide on the page already, just to save a bit of time. The first user guide I wrote for this little app was so long-winded. So I thought, well, let's write it all down first, and then run you through the stuff we're going to do. Um, first of all, the app name. Well, I've called it Diff2 because it follows on from Diff1, so that makes sense. But in the marketplace, uh, if you want to dig it out, it's my A-level mass tutors where they're all, they should all be because I want to write lots of these little apps. Basically, it's a live worksheet. Uh, this is where you just basically have a series of questions. So this app, uh, and then you click on a, a try a question, click on a, then you click on the question on the sheet, and it comes up with a video solution. Um, so there's uh, this topic in this particular live worksheet is going to be function and function. I'll do 50 on this. Now the first thing is the first 13. Let me tell you about those. That's going to be done by the long-winded method. You know, the this we draw a table, we let u equal substitution, then we work out the values. But once we're used to doing it and up and running, our question 14 is a sort of transitional question where we morph into the shorthand method. And for the remainder of these questions, 14 to 50. Then we'll do the shorthand method. And in the end, we do some quite hairy sort of thing, sort of questions, really, um, where we almost have functions of a function of a function in the end. And uh, here's a little nasty looking little question here I jotted down that I just looked at now in the row 42. Nasty little question, but the question says use the function function rule to differentiate this. So we're going to look at that, of course. And as I say, the idea is for you to try the questions first. Um, and then uh, and then um, just click on the video solution, yeah? So uh, the other thing after functions, functions, and we're used to those and familiar with those, is we're going to do products. And then, uh, see that I did that then? I do a snake thing. In these videos, I've been listening to them, and I go, products, like that, which is not good. I'm going to try and stop myself doing it, especially when I say X. It's X. So I promise you that from subsequent apps, I'll be cutting that out because uh, it doesn't do when you have so many X's flying around. If you start elongating the, the letter as, as well, it just doesn't help. Anyway, products, we're going to do about 25-ish of those. We'll get used to uh, using products. And then quotients, we're going to do um, about, oh, 20. Uh, I think it's 20, sorry, products here. And then 25 quotients there. All right. And well, again, we're going to get thoroughly familiar with how to do frac, uh, with how to do quotients as well. Um, in the the need, the things we need to use are logs. In this, the, the full, these derivatives are full of um, using properties of logarithms, log uh, properties of fractions, and properties of indices. So look out for those. I'll always try and write them down more often than not. The properties that we invoke. And we have to get sort of comfortable with using. The other thing to mention in the app is that along the bottom, there's a row of buttons. So I've added this time, along with all the reset rows and reset all. And a nice little film, actually, uh, put down uh, from a university, Glamorgan University's annual lecture, one of their annual lectures. Uh, a very nice little film, so I recommend that to have a little look at. But also I put down a, an email question uh, button where you can just tap the button, it fires up an email, uh, to me and uh, with a comment and you can just tap in a comment and also you can then capture a picture of a question You've got so you're working out a question by hand capture the picture attach it to the email Just press send uh, and I'll get the email and the idea is then I'll be able to send you back a YouTube link with a bespoke Solution if I get time uh, To write up solutions for these things so I look forward to hearing from you if you manage to, to get around to write a question it only takes a few moments to do that so that's really the app then I hope you enjoy it and um you know, as I say, give us a buzz if there's any problems or any questions you've got, and I'll be happy to receive your emails and hopefully get back to you on those things, yeah? And uh, look out for my next apps, because this will go on to implicit differentiation and various other topics in subsequent apps. I'm not sure of the order yet, but we'll make our way through all this sort of stuff. Okay then, guys, I'll catch you again. Cheers!